Well, hello and welcome back, beautiful Geminis. Let's get some spirit totem animals on this read for you, Gemini, and see what comes out. Gemini. Ooh, cow spirit. The miracles are endless. Love is all around with Nightingale. Armadillo saying set healthy boundaries. Take a time out. This and that are true. It's about setting boundaries. You are never alone. Take a leap of faith. Be playful. Love is all around you. All right, let's go. Gemini energy, please. Gemini, stay calm. This could be about learning. Learning to stay calm. A spiritual message. Somebody may have repressed something or is repressing something. Is it that somebody wants to submit? Reproach is here and repression. A message of love. There is love all around. Karmic message. Somebody wants forgiveness here. A karmic, perhaps. All right, Gemini. What's this message? An emperor. What? Emotional manipulation. Something for the higher good. Respect is here. Know your value. Know your worth. Somebody is a karmic masculine. Know your worth. You're a leader. Fairness. Somebody was putting you off balance here. And it's looked like you're supposed to lay a solid foundation. So... There's some guilt here. I don't know. Maybe somebody tried to submit somebody or something. It's about submission. It's almost like somebody wanted you to control you and submit somebody, wanting them to be submissive. Says wanting to submit, wanting an empress to be submissive. Oh, yeah, I'd be waiting a long time for that to happen. <laughs> I'm laughing. I don't know. Somebody is like scared here. I don't know. This is something to do with. I don't know if they tried to like trap you or they tried to trap somebody I don't know there's secrets here I don't know if someone's praying to God
this is a one-upping energy or hating that something is ended. I don't know. Yeah, it's like some kind of decision here. Somebody's got some kind of repressed memories or hmm. I don't know, someone's wanting vengeance? Or is like... Oh. I don't know, some kind of like... interfering or spying on somebody's interfering this is family pain and struggles a lot of heartache maybe a third party or something to do with their actions somebody has to set up some sort of boundaries it could be with family it could be with people friends and family interfering now somebody could be lying or making accusations Mm. It's almost like someone wants forgiveness. Someone is deliberately trying to affect someone's self-esteem here. It's like they wanted to, like, browbeat somebody, or this is somebody being browbeaten. Uh, insecure belittlement. Somebody is getting nightmares. These could be repressed memories or but nobody has the there's no facts here. Somebody could have caught. Somebody's just trying to dodge a bullet here. Somebody just ain't. Ooh. 
know. Somebody could be stalking someone. Someone could be stalking someone here. Someone needs to set up boundaries in their relationship. Someone's too controlling. They're stalking. Like this is a stalker. Someone is stalking someone, Gemini. Someone is literally stalking someone. Sneaking around, stalking someone. It's almost like they want to make someone afraid or paranoid. Gemini, it's like someone is stalking someone. I don't like the energy. It's almost like they're stalking someone to like, because they want to have total control of someone. It's like they stalk them because they want to know all about their life, all about their details. It, and it's like a form of stalking. It's like they want someone to be totally submissive or submit to them. It's like, I'm the boss here. I say how things go. I say how things are going down here. Yet. This is total. It's wanting someone to be totally submissive to them, causing them fear and paranoia. They, they don't want someone to have their freedom. They don't want someone to feel good about when they go see their family or go see their friends or go to work or anything. It's like they want to have total control so they can monitor everything. This is a control freak. This is a narcissist. This is someone who wants the feminine to be completely submissive. <clears throat> you do as I say. You talk when I tell you to talk. You. This is stalking. Reverse roles were necessary, but it's looking like.
someone can't control their emotions. They can't handle not being in control. They can't handle this is someone who submisses, belittles people. Um, I don't know who this is. This is somebody who can't handle not being in control. They want a submiss someone to be submissive to them. They stalk. They want absolute control. If like somebody goes out if somebody goes out for a drive, they want to know where they're gone. This is somebody who would check the odometer. Um, if someone says, well, I'm going to go see my friend, well, they'd follow and stalk to see that that's where that someone went. Um, this is stalking. They are a karmic masculine. They could be a feminine in a, in a, in a uh, you know, this could be, oh no. You know, like everybody, I guess, has a some form of jealousy or some form of, you know, a jealous thought or something. But this is going beyond. This is like, this is a masculine who's stalking the feminine. Everything that they say, they check out. Everything they do, they verify. Everything that's going on. Now, I don't know if the feminine gave this masculine any reason to do that, but this is a karmic masculine who com wants the feminine to completely submit to them. Sorry, I got my own opinion about that. What, at what cost? At what price? Like, Somebody is like got to, needs to get their freedom or had to free themselves. This is someone who would like they can't let go. Like they can't let go. It's They're stalking. And they feel like the feminine, you know, the feminine talks to their family or the feminine talks to their friends or the feminine goes to the store or the feminine goes for a drive. They're right there checking them and verifying it. It's like... I'm keeping my own opinion about that, but at what cost? All these tears, you gotta like browbeat somebody to get them to submit? Or do you just be a good person and someone would want to submit?
but this is someone who's very controlling and they get angry if like you don't ask them first or or go to them first or talk or discuss something with them first this is crazy lay a solid foundation you can't build a relationship on jealousy and you can't build a relationship on suspicion and doubt it's like there's got to be some form of trust and work together as a team what what's this uh Somebody needs to stand up for themselves and set boundaries because it is too much. It's creating a lot of tears. It's creating a lot of sadness. This is being browbeat is what it's being. A lot of tears. And I don't know why this masculine thinks that they're smarter or that they're, they just want someone they can submit, control, dominate. Well, I'm, like I said, I'm going to keep my personal feelings out of it, but if, at what price, what is the cost of this? Do you have to humiliate someone? Do you have to browbeat them? Do you have to follow them? Do you have to, you know, how far is this going to go? And what are they capable of doing? It's like they want to control by fear tactics or, or, no, it's like, know your value, your worth. If someone has to stalk you in order to control you, there's a problem. There's no trust. Take care.